AAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Last couple of days for us have been a real treat, a break from the heat and the humidity all across the Susquehanna Valley. And this morning, we are continuing that stretch, feeling comfortable once again. We're looking live from our Lancaster Skycam, just a couple of clouds along the horizon. The sun's starting to come up. I'm starting to see the pre dawn hours. And temperatures are pretty much the coolest that we will see all day long. In fact, we're in the mid 50s here, starting off in the Red Rose City. We will be warming up quickly into the middle 80s. So, about a 30 degree jump from where we are right now in most places across the valley. Dew points into the mid 50s, too. So, the dew points staying down in the 50s means it's pretty comfortable start to the morning, but we will start to see those uh, dew points climbing through the rest of today thanks to this more southerly wind that has developed through the overnight hours. It's going to turn things uh, a little on the sticky side for us as we go into later parts of today. 54 right now in Abbottstown, 60 degrees in Gettysburg, uh, mid 50s around the Chambersburg area at this time. Hey, even Harrisburg into the low 60s right now, and we're still in the uh, low 50s around Sealands Grove, 53 degrees. Would not be surprised to see some patchy fog along these river routes just north of Harrisburg and across some other areas of the valley as well. We slide a little farther to the east, seeing these numbers 57 degrees in Redding. 56 in Hamburg right now. Uh, Palmyra at 56 as well. Sunbury at 53 degrees. Radar itself not picking up anything, but we are seeing a few of these high clouds streaming through the region at this time. We're waiting on a cold front to come in from the northwest, and this cold front is actually going to fall apart as it moves towards us. It looks really ominous, but it will be running into some very dry air as it continues off to the east. High pressure in place right now, and that's going to keep us. On a pretty nice note today. However, things will be warming up. So, sunshine and a few clouds together uh, here in the News 8 Storm Team forecast. And hey, we have Lewis Berry in the background. Redland Little League taking on uh, for the uh, U.S. Championship Little League World Series later on today in Williamsport. Uh, not only in Williamsport, but here it will be a decent day overall, but warmer than what we have been seeing and more humid too. 82 to 88 degrees for those highs today. And tonight we fall down into the low to mid 60s. A few moonlit clouds here and there. The moon is about 99% full. Uh, if you were waking up earlier this morning, you definitely noticed that moonlight. And it won't be as cool either because of the sticky humidity levels coming up through the overnight. L again, lows in the mid 60s, rebounding quickly to the upper 80s by tomorrow. Would not be surprised to see a few spots right around 90 degrees. So, a return to summer is uh, on its way here as we go through the weekend. Can't rule out a chance of a spotty shower or thunderstorm, but they will be few and far between. Looking at the farm forecast, the last seven days have been on the little on the dry side. 0.14 inches of rain officially uh, recorded. Brings the month in August as a whole about 2.36. We're in a half inch deficit for the month of August. I don't see much in the way of rainfall between now and the end of the month. So, as a result, uh, we're going to be talking about soil moisture a little on the dry side of things. Soil temps between 60 and 65. And the 10 day outlook for temps looks pretty warm for us, above average. And in terms of precipitation, looks a little on the dry side. Dew points right now are in that comfortable range, but we will start to see them climbing up because of these southerly winds that will continue through us, uh, for us through the rest of today. Sunshine and a few high clouds across the region. Now, as we go into tonight, things start to clear out once again. A few moonlit clouds. Here and there, but then we start to see a little bit more cloudiness into tomorrow as this system begins to approach. Maybe a spotty shower or thunderstorm during the afternoon, but few and far between, not uh, really that big of a risk for us. Then we head through the day on Monday, and again, the chance of that stray or isolated thunderstorm with this frontal boundary being too close to us, and also the fact that we ha will have the heat and the humidity across the region. So it's going to be a warm one for us, and we're keeping that stray to isolated thunderstorm chance in both tomorrow and on Monday, even into Tuesday, too, with that isolated thunderstorm chance. However, for the most part, Tuesday, Wednesday, even going into Thursday itself, I'm going to be on the warm side. Look at that stretch of 88 degree days. I would not be surprised to see a few 90s in there too before things start to taper off a little bit with the heat and humidity into Labor Day weekend itself, which is next weekend. So we'll yeah. be keeping our eye on that uh, holiday weekend. Of course, it's still out in the long range. In the meantime, more like summer. So I hope you got out to enjoy the last few days. Yeah, well, usually the pools close next weekend, That's so right. it'll be nice to get back to them for one, one more one week. One last week <laughs> with, while the temps are hot. That's All right. right. Thanks, Matt. Mm -hmm.